treated him like an animal, you know? I mean, that's how you kill a bear or something. 10 shots, 11 shots. It's not right. Well, that as we get a firsthand look at the how the shooting unfolded, the sheriff's office released that dramatic body cam video of the whole incident. Ryan Sims in the newsroom with the footage. But first, Ryan, uh, what do we know about the man who was shot? Yeah, Jared, the sheriff says Juan Torres had at least 20 run ins with the law over the years. And today, as we mentioned, we learned it was his own sister who called police on him before the fatal shooting. Body camera footage shows the terrifying moment deputies fired on Juan Torres. As you see right here, the 39-year-old waved around a large wrench before throwing it at a deputy. In total, 11 shots were fired. Torres died at the scene. It is a very dangerous dynamic with different perspectives that are very fluid in the moment. Sheriff Penzone says this case highlights the sheer dangers of domestic violence. The incident started with the call to 911 from Torres' sister. I need chance out here now. My mother's trying to hurt us. I need chance out here now. She told dispatchers that her brother was on drugs and acting violently at their parents' house in Buckeye. He's heavy, he's like 300 pounds. He's probably like six feet tall, a little bit six feet tall. He has a warrant out for his arrest. I know that. Calm down. You're not in trouble. When deputies arrived, Torres paced around the home's front yard. As you hear in the video, family members tried to get him to stop, but he refused. Now, the deputy who was hit with that wrench did have to be taken to the hospital. Meantime, the two deputies who fired shots are still on administrative leave as the investigation into this shooting continues. In the newsroom tonight, Ryan Sims, Arizona's family.